Spare me the, it's a Subaru and it'll blow up no matter what. We don't care. We pick Subaru. We're stuck with Subaru. Unless someone wants to give me something else. Welcome back to the YouTube channel, guys. Today, we're gonna take apart the short block. Obviously, as you guys already know, kind of blew this thing up. There's kind of a hole in it right here. So we're gonna break this apart and see what we find on the inside. For all of our blocks, we've been using the upgraded hardware from ARP. And the basic premise behind using the upgraded hardware from ARP is so that the case itself can't shift and move as much. Uh, it is expensive, I'm not gonna lie, for a bag of bolts. But in Subarus, you do everything you possibly can to make sure that this case doesn't move and rotate or expand and contract and so on and so forth. Well, I knew that was going to happen at some point. A really cool feature about the IAG blocks is you can actually see, you get a, a half inch wrench and it actually slots in to this little spot here. And these actually, they pull out. Now, you might ask yourself, why in the world would you machine and go through all the effort of making this plug? Now, the reason for this is without it, you end up having to have this big gaping hole, which ends up leading to a bolt that holds the case halves together. By taking this, machining this piece, you actually make this very weak point of the Subaru block stronger. So IAG is going through the effort to ensure the strength of our blocks are just that little bit stronger in those places that we are the weakest. This little guy is amazing for taking these out. Um, I highly recommend if you ever work on a Subaru engine or anything of that nature, just, just have one of these. Makes it so you can get this screw out without any effort whatsoever. Instead of fighting this, stripping it, cursing and screaming. Look, nice and easy, like it's meant to be. How I've found the best way to split the case halves it's kind of like how I like to do everything. Just hit it with a hammer a little bit and she starts coming apart. Get these separated. But here, now we get our first glimpse at what we got going on. You can see here the hole and some damage done from things from the inside out. And you can see down there where it broke off the crank at the rod. The rod is actually embedded right there. So our piston is actually still in the case sav. I wonder if the piston actually has any damage. Okay, so I ended up making my own Allen key. Uh, handy dandy welder, a 14 uh, little bolt, welded a nut on the end, and now I can break this free. Okay, so after making the second tool that I needed, you know, that tool that allows you to pull the wrist pin out, 
after making the second tool that I needed today, I'm finally able to separate the case halves. One case half, crank, rods, other case half. As you might notice, there's still a piston in there. So, we're gonna have to get that out of there so we can see the damage. The devastation inside, oh my God. It is downright terrifying. So here's our devastation inside. Now this is the side that didn't let go. This is the good side. As you can see though, the rod decided to puncture every other thing. The side that actually let go, you can see here, the rod still attached. And it beat, as you can see here, until it punctured to here, which is where our opening is. No one can say that J.E. Pistons aren't strong. Because this thing took a whack. Well, there you have it. Last little piece. All right, guys, that's a wrap on our teardown of our short block. We definitely had a lack of oil pressure, which caused excessive heat on the crankshaft, which then led to the rod breaking, which led to the scattering of everything under the sun. So now we're going to go through and figure out how we're going to make this better so this doesn't happen again. And yeah, 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 spare me, it's a Subaru, and it'll always blow up. We know that. That's why we always... Build it bigger, better than the last time, and we try new things. Because we're here to experiment on things harder than you'll ever experiment on something.